If you've ever lost a job, you know what an adjustment that can be. Besides the financial strain on your family, you may not feel like you're measuring up. Tonight, we're going to show you what some Middle Tennesseans in that tough spot are doing to help others and their resumes. Channel 4's Mark Stewart is working for you. We've got a can opener here. Debbie Maloney is doing work that's benefiting others and helping her soul. This house, th these apartments represent uh, a place where people can come who are really facing hard times. They She's a volunteer helping to furnish rooms at the Hospital Hospitality Center near West End. It's a facility where out-of-towners can stay when a relative is getting treatment at an area hospital. They have a loved one in a hospital suffering for an extended time, which means it's a serious illness. Maloney's story is symbolic. She was recently laid off from her job as a concierge at a local hotel. I mean, there was a fog over me for a couple of days because I just absolutely loved my job. I, uh, now she represents a growing number of Middle Tennesseans who are out of work and now using their time to volunteer as they look for a new job. We've seen a real spike in the number of uh, volunteers and the interest in volunteering kind of coming out of the fourth quarter of last year, the end of 2008, coming into 2009, um, a lot of first-time volunteers. The benefits extend beyond the individual charity. Experts will tell you that volunteering is a good way to build up your resume. I think it does show an enormous amount of character. It says a lot about who, who a person is. Invest my time, treasures, and talents down here and I know out of it will flow some some other blessing for me while I'm blessing these families that are coming in and need a place to stay while they're here. And it's also interesting to note the diversity of new volunteers. Some are accountants, others work in skilled trades. The hope is that this new generation of volunteers will keep up their efforts even when they find regular employment. Just to give you an example, all of last year, about 28,000 people contacted Hands on Nashville, the volunteer organization. Already this year, 30,000 people wow. have inquired on their website. And it could open doors. Thank you, Mark. If you'd like to find out about volunteer opportunities in the area, log on to WSMV.com. We've got a link to the group Hands on Nashville. It's the organization that links charities with available volunteers.